What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the how to get the height of a binary tree. The height is the furthest, the, is the number of edges between the root that we're currently on to the furthest leaf. So in this case, the furthest leaf is, uh, they are all actually balanced here. So the height is just two, right? Because it takes, every time you go down a level, you increase the height by one. So here we actually start at zero on the top. So we have one, right? To go from four to two, it's one and then two, right? All these nodes, the furthest leaf are two, right? Even if you go from four to one, it's still two. Four to three, it's two. Four to five, it's two. Four to seven, it's two, okay? Now, whereas in this situation, the height of this tree is actually three, because from the top of the root of three, it's gonna, it takes three levels to go to the furthest node, which is seven. The furthest node is seven and it takes three levels. I got to take one, two, and then three, right? It's how f the largest, the furthest from the root. So that's what this height means. It's the furthest level, one, two, three. It's not this one because this is one, two. It's not this one because it would take three, one, two for four. It's three to seven because it takes one, two, and three. It's the furthest from the node to one of its leaves. So I'm just gonna explain how this code works. It's not that difficult. Um, our base case is if the root is null pointer, then we just return zero. And the reason why this is the case is because at the top of the node, the root's height is zero. And yeah, at this point, it would just be zero, right? Because at the top of the node, you're really, yeah, your starting node is zero. So technically that's your base case. All right, this is a little tricky to understand, but it's not that tricky to understand actually. So I create two variables called left and right. And it's just gonna represent the height of the left side and the height of the right side. All right, um, we have to check if the left side exists. So if the left side is not equal to the null pointer, that means that it exists, right? So if, uh, let's say, let's say we're on four, right? Um, this left side of four is left is null, right? There, there's not, nothing exists on the left side, so we can't go there, right? So we have to check if the left side is null, is not equal to null, if we're going to go to the left side. So what you do is if, uh, if, if the left side is not equal to null pointer, that means there is a left side, right? There's a left, there is a left, um, left subtree, right? On the left side. So if that's the case, I'm just going to get the height of the left side, right? I'm just always going to get the height of the left side and recursively call it the left side. Cause I just, I want to get the height of the left side also, right? I just keep going to the left, always keep going down to the left. And, uh, thing is every time you traverse down a level right so if i go from three to two and two to one we increase the height by one right because it takes one step to go down so one two right every time you go down one level it just takes one step so from three to two it takes one here from three to five it takes one right so every time you go down down a level it takes one step so that's why if left side is not equal to null pointer i recursively call on the left uh, left side of the root, and I add one, right? Because it, every time you go down a level, we're gonna increase by one, right? That would be the, the height of it. Now, if the right side is not equal to null pointer, that means the right side is not null, right? That means there's something on the right side. This part, there's something on the right side here. So if that's the case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just set the right height, the right height, it's gonna equal to recursively calling on the right side because there's something there, right? There's something on the right side that we have to go to. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep going to the right side if there's a right side, right? And then every time we go down the right side, we're gonna actually add one. And the reason why is because the same thing, every time you go down a level, so from three to five, we go down one level on the right side, it's a cost of one, right? We plus one. And from five to six on the right side, it's plus one also, and six to seven, it's plus one. So every time we go down the right side, we're gonna add one. Okay, now because they say the height of a tree is the furthest leaf, right? 
is the one who's furthest down, right? We're going to take the max of the left side and the right side. And that's going to get, get us which one's uh, the furthest down, right? So if I cursor call it, get the left side height and the right side's height, whichever is furthest down, that'll be the height of the tree. So that's why I just return max of the left side's height and the right side's height. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's not that hard. Peace.